All the boxes are rearranged again under the tree. He's probably shat in it. He would do that. How do you feel? Free. <laughs> there was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile, and he bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all live together. In a crooked little house. I just miss the girls. Came by for a surprise visit. I could. Uh, Is he a child? You Can he not dress and undress himself? <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh. The world is wrong. It looks like my world. But everything's different. Oh. <laughs> Poor Sai. You gotta get your superior officer's approval on this form before I can give you the blue one. Damn it! Well, since I'm Chief Eden Valley, couldn't I just, I don't know, approve myself? You can't do that. That's... Let me guess. Against regulations? You're darn right it's against regulations. You're gonna need to get Chief Mutterlax John Hancock on one of these babies. Then I'll give you the yellow one, and then when that's filled, you get the blue. I feel you, Gloria. What a shot. We just need to get these two together. I can't even imagine how Nikki is feeling right now. She is holding her shit together extremely well. I'm developing quite a degree of respect for her. That camera just went off. This better be Gloria. It's not. My lawyer here? No, fuck. Turn around and put your hands through the bars. Why? You gotta check yourself for contraband. No. Ow! Be a good girl now. <gasps> What's happening? No! No, easy, son. Yes! Put the syringe down. On the floor, slowly. He was doing something. Quiet. Yes. On the floor. I knew it was him! Girl, you're not a cop. How the hell am I supposed to do that? <gasps> what the fuck? Linda! No! Linda! Wait! Wait, there's an officer. He just ran out. I was supposed to. Somebody go after him! What are you doing to me? What are you doing? No, wait. There's something going on. The, the, the syringe! That's a murder weapon. He was gonna kill me. The officer, he cuffed me here. Shut so... up. Jesus Christ. I don't know who sent you us. Because! Huh? The tape. Check the tape. It's off. The camera's off. Son of a bitch. Who controls that? The camera. There's a switch on the wall. But I was here the whole time. Maybe a hack. Sir. Somebody came for that girl. A man in uniform. Three murders in, going for a fourth. Either one of your men or an impersonator. Wakey, wakey. It's a conspiracy. Oh, Jesus. I'm not talking about certainty. I'm saying there's doubt. The point is, even if it's a coincidence, shouldn't we talk to her? Exhaust all possibilities? Come on. You're cutting him open. My Ray. He doesn't deserve that. It's a homicide. You gotta do an autopsy by law. I think your boyfriend hired a con to rob his brother and things went from bad to worse. And then I don't know. 
Maybe the brother came back at him hard. Maybe not the brother. Meaning? Follow the money. That's all I'll say. Follow the money. You know what? Your probation's revoked. We're transferring you to the state pen. Protective custody, you're welcome. You like pie? I'm gonna visit you after the holiday, bring you some pie. Maybe we can talk about Ray. What he liked, who he was. Coconut. I like coconut cream pie. She should not be mixing with other... But there's men in this too? This is ridiculous. Who's she gonna be next to? Mr. Numbers? Is it? Look at the jacket! Which one's right to number and by you it was that one. Oh my god. Is he there to kill her or is that just complete coincidence? I don't have high hopes for this bus. Scary, it's just pathetic at this point. Look at you, with your wolf head. You're not a wolf. Don't end there. Oh, Jesus. That's just cruel. I really, really don't want Nikki to die. I'm actually finding that quite distressing that she could die. I don't, I'm not ready for her to go yet. At least we've bought ourselves another episode, so she's at least going to be in the next episode. She's not going to go down easy. And I really want to see her eat that pie with Gloria. I want this, them to end in Lou's Cafe. <sighs> eating coconut pie. And everyone's happy, and all the bad, bad people are dead. Oh, my sweet summer child. So Emmett, as predicted, has um, really drunk the Kool-Aid on this one. He's erratic at the Goldfarb meeting. He completely gives himself away when Winnie Lopez arrives. Literally, the first thing out of his mouth was, I've been here since six. Like, what the f... She hasn't even said hello yet. So he cocked that up. And then he's, like, grilling out Sai As if Sai had somehow... Why would Sai ally with Ray? It's none of it makes sense at all. He's just an idiot. And I think that really broke Sai. You think everything... The dick mug... Um, seeing Nikki get beaten up. All 
the stuff that so has seen and I think the one thing that's kept him going is is that he's at least not on his own. You know, he's working to help Emma. And I think when he realised, you know, Emmett saying, I just want to be on my own after that horrible accusation. And then he looks up and VM Vargas in the window. So I was like, nothing makes sense anymore. That was so sad with his wife when he, he was just breaking his heart. It was just like, she was like, what's wrong? He was like, the world. It looks exactly, it looks the same, but everything's different. I just, oh God. I really felt that. That was, as I say, I do think Sai is really one of the better characters in this, to this point. I love Winnie Lopez. I love how she got straight back on the horse and made it to that restaurant to ask those questions to be the one that told Emmett about Ray so that she could gain the stuff. And then of course, meanwhile at the prison, we've got Idiot Chief. <laughs> Idioting away. But they fully, I mean, this is the thing, you've got to remember, I keep having to remember the, the resources that Varga and their team have on their side. So they actually managed to get a man into the, into the jail to dispatch Nikki, and I thought she was gone at, at that point. I really did, you know, when because you could see the syringe going towards her hand, and I was just like, "There's not time for any anything to say for now." And thank God, then Gloria, who's clearly got off the toilet and gone, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna go down and see her. Screw the bureaucracy." And thank goodness she did, because if she hadn't, Nikki would be dead, and the trail would be cold. But she didn't, she got at least follow the money. So I think this is gonna lead Gloria and Winnie, because I don't think Winnie's going back fully to traffic duty. I think they're on the case now and everything was gonna, is gonna escalate from here. We've only got three episodes left now, it's eight, nine and 10. So I expect a fairly wild ride now um, through to the finish. But another really good episode, I felt like that was one where we were really breaking with the action to this point and we're transitioning into the finale <sighs> and i'm in for the ride that was really good it was just tense from the beginning to the end and i love it when an episode keeps me tense because even the bits where you're sort of paying attention or it's dialogue or whatever it's like the whole thing's a massive adrenaline rush but you know where do we go from here are they gonna sell to goldfarb what did Willie Lopez say to Goldfarb? How did that interview go? What did VM Varga do to the presence? What's Emmett's next move? Varga or Goldfarb? Is Nikki about to die or is something else extraordinary going to happen? I've got so many questions. So until the next time, bye bye.